Let's be fearless, baby, let's be free Take a leap and feel eternity, eternity Let your heart come out, run away with me We could dance all night, if you stay with me Where the stars never fade and the sun won't rise We can live while we're young, forever tonight We can stop Welcome back to Gloss and Sparkle. So I'm super excited for today's video because I had the opportunity to partner with one of my favorite stores. It's a thrift store called Savers. Savers Unique and Value Village. They are all the same company, so if you're familiar with any of those, I absolutely love them. I just think that they have some amazing things. As you know, I love to go thrift shopping. So the idea of partnering with them to make a winter thrifted haul video was super exciting for me. And so I want to show you what things I picked up. So if you know me, you know that probably 70, at least 70% of the time, I am dressed up either in a skirt or a dress. I always have to be dressed up. And Savers is a great place to be able to pick up things of a dressy nature and they are so pretty and so affordable. So the first thing that I picked up was this pencil skirt and a lot of the things you'll notice that I picked up were vintage pieces because I just love vintage clothing. They tend to be very high quality and they last and they're just really modest and I love them. So I got this pencil skirt in this beautiful, I don't know if it's like an eggplant color, it's almost like a hint of blue in there too. So. I don't know if I'd call it eggplant, but it's so beautiful. I love it. It's got an elastic waistband, which to me is just awesome because, I don't know, it's just easy that way. I got a lot of skirts. So I also got another skirt in this fuchsia color. It's also a pencil, and it's about the same length, only this one has little belt loops here. Again, the elastic waist, super easy, and I like this one. Okay, I do have more skirts, but I'm going to hold off on those to show you so I can show you something a little bit different. This is a dress that I picked up. Super vintage. Oh, I love this. It is just a polka dot dress, and it actually came with shoulder pads in here, which are, you know, I don't mind it. I think it looks kind of cute. It has a cinched elastic waist, and then it flares out, and it sort of just comes out into like an... A flared out midi skirt. Oh, I think this is so beautiful and classy. I love this dress. It's very 50s and if you know me, my style and my wardrobe is very heavily influenced by the 40s and 50s. I just love that era of clothing. So the next item is something that I've been wearing non-stop. I love skirts obviously. Here's another one. This is a leather skirt in this camo color. I absolutely adore this. I've just been wearing this constantly. It is my favorite length, a little bit below the knee. I love that length and I just love leather skirts as well. I've also, I also have one in black that I purchased a while ago and I love it so to be able to have another color was amazing. So the next item I picked up was a pair of jeans and they are a dark wash just like this. They are from BCBG Generation and they come down to a straight leg. I wouldn't say they're a skinny. They're not quite a skinny. They're more of a straight leg. And I just really thought these were cute. These are in the style Jasper. So they have the little BCBG logo on the back. And I just thought they were really a nice staple piece. So the next item that I want to show you, as this is a winter haul, is a coat. Now, I actually got this for my husband. Or he actually picked it out. He little secret he doesn't like shopping at thrift stores he doesn't like it but sometimes he'll go in with me and actually shop around too <laughs> and he did find something so that's really good he found this coat from H&M and it's just I know it looks very construction worker off but when it's on I don't know why the fit looks very dressy not quite, you know, for going out in a suit or something, but very nice, dressy, casual. And I really like this, because when he first showed it to me, I was like, ew. And then he tried it on, and it was really, really nice. And this was $17.99. So the coats are a little bit more expensive. But that makes sense. Okay, next was a coat for me. So, 
I wanted a puffer coat that was long and I wanted it in black. So voila, here we go. A long puffer coat. This is from Converse um, One Star, so that's Target. And I love this. It's got this big old thing. It's not quite a hood, but you can wear it as a hood. But this big thing that just keeps you warm in the back, it just kind of lays there. And it is beautiful. I love this coat. It keeps me so warm. And then another coat that I got, which is so beautiful, and I wore it so much already that one of the buttons came off, but I thankfully found it, so it's in the pocket. I just have to sew it back on. But it is from Sam Edelman, and look it. This is such a pretty coat. Look at this beautiful leopard print lining, and it's got the little details up here. And also down here, I, I will model these for you guys because this is just ridiculous trying to show you. But I love this coat and it's got these big huge lapels which I think is a super modern look. And I did look this coat up and I believe it was $225 which is like super expensive. I would never be able to afford it otherwise. This was $9.99. Okay, so next is another skirt. I know, you guys, but I'm obsessed with skirts. It, again, is a pencil skirt, and I hope you can see the print. It's so pretty, and it's beautifully tailored. This skirt is from Linda Allard for Ellen Tracy, and I've noticed that I pick up a lot of Ellen Tracy skirts. I must really like that brand, but they just make really well-tailored, well-made skirts, and I really like this one. Next for winter, I got some winter boots. So hopefully these keep my feet warm in the snow. The next thing I still have in this really big bag because we haven't taken it to get it dry cleaned yet. So I don't want him to wear it until we do. It's a coat for my husband, a dress coat. And it goes past the knees. It is this big huge wool coat and it's just beautiful. I love this and yeah, it's really long and big. <laughs> So the next two items I also still have in the bag because I haven't had a chance to wash them yet. So if they haven't been washed, they stay in the bags. But I was super excited about this top from Lululemon because they are super expensive. And I tried this top on at the store and it is so comfortable and soft. And it even has this, the little detail where you stick your thumb through. I think that's so cute. I don't know why I like that. I used to even cut holes in my shirts because I thought that was such a, I don't know, cool thing to do or whatever. But this is like super double, triple lined. It is amazing. So I'm really excited about that. Then I got these acid wash jeans from Cabbie and I, this is the first thing I have from Cabbie. I've never tried anything from them and I really really like these. The fit is nice. They are pretty much a skinny but they're like loose in the knee which I really like that fit and yeah I just thought that they were really really cute. So the next item is a sweater and it is from the brand Seen. C-I-N-E. I've never heard of that before. It is a big sheer black sweater super soft. It kind of has uh, the sleeves that are like tight and then like really loose here, kind of like a dolman sleeve. And then it comes down around in the front to a little like enormous twisty cowl thing. But it's super unique and I thought it was really, really pretty. So I'm excited to wear that and I think this was $5.99 as well. So the next item I am super excited about, my husband is kind of like skeptical about them just because he said he's got to see them on first to decide if he likes them or not. They're totally not me, I will admit that. Um, this color is like pumpkin, I would say, and these are pants. These are from H&M and they're very, very loose, but I don't know. This is my vision for these, tucked into a black, a black top tucked in and then like really high black heels. These fit me so good. I just really liked them. They're super loose and flowy and it was just something different. So I'm trying not to be the person who just wears all black and no colors. So yeah, I'm sorry. There is so much to show you guys. It's ridiculous. So the next item is a, another skirt, totally vintage, pleats, and look at this little design. Okay, I want to I wanna give you guys a close-up of this design. Does that not look like Louis Vuitton? to you. I thought that as soon as I looked at it and I just think it's so cute. I love pleated skirts so this was definitely up my alley. Another skirt. Okay, 
You guys, I'm so sorry. I have two more, I think two more skirts for you. Okay, so this next one is very, very basic. Super vintage Worthington. It is so thick. And what I love about old-fashioned skirts is that they were lined. They always came lined, so you don't even have to wear a slip. Like, that's just great. But I love this. It's a different kind of color for me. And pretty much my goal is to have a pencil skirt in every color. Because that way you can just throw on a black top and black heels and you're good to go. Alright, so I also have a vision for this next skirt. I don't know if you guys have seen it on Pinterest or whatever social media you are on. But I constantly see these high-low satin midi skirts. And when I went to search for them, they're so expensive. I can't find them for like under $80, but most of them are like $100 and something. So I found this skirt and it looks just like those skirts, only it's not a high-low, but I can make it into a high-low. So that's really, really a great idea, I thought. And this was only $5.99, so compared to $100, I thought that was really, really good. So this next item I really love. My mom actually had it in her cart and I saw it and I was like, oh, I want that. And and she tried it on and she didn't like it so she put it down and I didn't know she put it down but then I found it on the go back rack and I'm like you didn't buy it she's like nah I didn't want it so I immediately picked it up it is this huge oversized sweater from Lewin Gray I love me some oversized sweaters to just stick on over leggings or over jeans I just think they're so cozy and I love the detailing in this sweater I love Lewin Gray sweaters. I have a couple of them now, and yeah, I just really like this. So thank you, Mom. The next item is this sweater from Rockin' Republic, and it is black with gold shimmer detailing threading through it. It is sort of like a crop, sort of like a long crop, and it still has the tags on it, believe it or not, which is awesome when you can find things that still have the tags, so they're brand new. This was $68. $68 for a Rockin' Republic sweater, and this was $4.99. Okay, so the other thing I love about thrift stores is that you can find designer items. And I personally, I don't know about you, but I cannot afford to buy designer. I love them, but I can't afford them. So I ended up finding these jeans from Burberry. And I thought these were so, so pretty. They come down to a boot cut. These are the Chelsea jeans. And um, of course they have the typical Burberry lining. And then they have this cute little detailing on the back pocket of the Burberry logo. And I just thought these were really, really nice. And the detailing is just so nice. I mean, it says Burberry all on every little rivet that is on these jeans. And these retail for $225, and I got them for $7.99. Another designer item that I would never be able to afford, which are also about 200 and something dollars, I can't remember, but they were over 200 are these um, wedges from Cole Haan. As you can see, those are their new logo. These were brand new. These have never been worn. They're amazing. Black leather is totally me. Love them. So yeah. So the next item is a dress and I know this is a thrifted winter haul but I feel like you can put a sweater over any kind of dress and it becomes winter. So I got this dress and it is from Ava Franco. I love this. I think it's super pretty and I have shoes that match it perfectly so I really really like this. And I have been wearing a cami under here because it's sort of low. And um, yeah, I just really, really like this. And this was, I looked it up, I think it was $198. And I paid $699 for it. Okay, the next item is one of my absolute favorite pairs of jeans now. And they are from the brand Rockin' Republic. And here they are. They are sort of distressed without being like destroyed or anything like that because I hate it when jeans have like holes and stuff in them but they are having that I don't know why they look super bright right there it's not that bright you guys the distressing but they are just a skinny leg jean they are the perfect I don't know if these are considered cropped or not but they are the perfect length for me because I'm kind of short but I really really like these and they are super soft so the next items are a few purses slash clutches and this is a purse that I found that I thought was super cute. I have a vision for this. So back when my husband used to work full time, we 
did a lot of shopping and he bought this really cool YSL shirt that has the big logo right on the front of it. Well, I don't know what happened to it, but I I got something on it in the laundry, I think. I don't know. I don't know what happened. But it has like pink stuff all over it. But the logo is in perfect condition and the logo is made out of velvet and it's got like this like medallion design or something all around it. So I thought I will cut that out and put it here somehow. And to me it really wouldn't be quite like a knockoff because it is a real YSL shirt. I don't know. I don't know. I just thought it would be a cool project to do. So maybe you'll see that in the future. Let me know if that's something that would interest you. So the next item, I have been loving that fringe look you guys and I know it's been out for a while but I've never picked up anything with fringe on it so I found this purse this is um from Target I think it's Mossimo I think yes Mossimo and I think this is so nice it's a crossbody I'm just obsessed with crossbodies right now I'm just not into the whole carrying a purse thing and it was $5.99 super good deal so the next thing could be used as a clutch or a makeup bag, but it is from Estee Lauder and it still has the protective film on the zipper. Oops. It is super gold. I love it. It's beautiful. It's never been used. I love this. It was $1.50. So the next item I definitely think could pass as a clutch, even though it's technically probably a makeup bag. I don't know. It's also from Estee Lauder and it's black with this gold detailing and it folds up like that. So you could wear like, use it like that or fold it down. I just think this is super, super pretty. So I love belts. I'm constantly wearing them. And so I picked up this belt. It is from Liz Claiborne. So I think it's vintage. I'm pretty sure. But it's just black leather with this gold detailing. And it's got like three little things on the buckle here. I think that's really nice. And it's just really nice to wear with all of those skirts that I just bought. This was... $3.99. So the last item, you guys, finally, was a jacket from Columbia. And it's just like fleece with this material up here. So it's just like a nice lightweight jacket to wear. It's got the little Columbia logo on it. And this is actually a youth 1416, which to me turns out like a small. It's like a women's small. So I really like this jacket. It's just super casual. And yeah. So that was my winter thrifted haul from Savers slash Unique. I picked them up at both stores, Savers and Unique. And yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for sticking with me through the duration of this video. I know it was a lot, but thank you so much Savers for providing all of these awesome clothes. I never would have been able to go on a spree like that in my whole life. So thank you very much for that. And yes, yeah, so if you have a Savers, Value Village, or Unique store near you, be sure to check them out because they're awesome and you can find some really amazing deals as you can see at very affordable prices. So I thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you next time. Bye!